Hi, I'm Philip. Today, I want to show you one of the data types that is not widely enough known. It's search as you type. It's one that's not really bringing anything exactly new because it's made up of existing ones, but it's something to make your life easier for some very common thing that you want the full text search engine to do, namely searching as you type things. And that is the only slide i show you. So let's jump into um, Kibana and make this a little um, more practical. So I'm creating an index for jobs and then we want to search as we type for the job title of people that they have so software developer or whatever um, title people ha might have i create the index um, and then next up um, i will use the underscore analyze endpoint to actually simulate or try out what would happen if i would store this document in this index so i'm using that field title that i've just created on the jobs index and i'm trying out my senior software developer and well the default um, mapping that would be used here um, is, or the default analyzer is senior software and developer. So we have all of those three terms, but each on their own, finding those that's not that interesting um, or that's like nothing new that we would need. Um, but that analyzer is doing something else. So we have um, a shingle of two tokens. Um, let me demonstrate that here with the senior software developer again. So it's basically taking the combination of any two adjacent words. So we have senior software and software developer. So if I search for senior software um, or software developer, it would find those and it could give them more weight because they are next to each other. Um, and I do the same thing for a shingle token of three terms since I only have three in senior software developer, it will only give me one single token for senior software developer. And then the final data structure it creates. So all of those subfields are automatically created by that field type um, is an index prefixer. And that's basically an edge engram. So what an edge engram does is only starting at the beginning, it takes the first letter, the first two, the first three, et cetera. So you can see we work our way up from S to SE to SIN to senior, um, and then it continues with the rest of the word. So it works its way up through senior software um, developer. Um, once we hit the full developer, then we're starting at the second um, token here. So here, then we start with software and then go all the way to software developer. And then we finally do the same thing for developer again. So starting from the first letter to the full word, um, it breaks all of those down. Does that need more disk space than other fields? Yes, because obviously it stores more things. Um, so the trade-off here is mostly disk space since we're creating for this one text, basically, we're creating four ways that they are stored and indexed. Um, so the retrieval afterwards will be faster based on those indices, um, but they do take up more space on disk. So um, what I want to add is I'm creating five documents here, software developer, senior software developer, principal software developer, developer advocate, and developer advocate with an emoji. We'll get to that at the very end to see how the emojis work or if they work at all. Um, I'm just inserting those five documents and then we'll try to find something on them. So I'm using on my jobs index, I'm using a match phrase prefix and I just search for developer. Which ones will that find? Well, that should find quite a few um, of those um, that I'm searching or actually not because um, the match prefix, uh, phrase prefix starts at the beginning of what we are searching for. And we didn't have any um, developer that we were searching there for. So if I search for software developer, um, ah, did I not wait? Did I not index my documents? Let me try that again. Now I index my documents. Now it will actually find something. Now it actually finds all the developers that I was expecting because you can see here um, on developer that appears in all of them in the match phrase prefix, um, even if it's the second one or the third one. Um, if we have the senior software developer, they will be found. 
Um, if it's only two tokens in there, they will have a slightly better score than all three. Um, but that's well, that's the, the ranking with BM25 in the background. That's how it's working. If I search for software dev, so I don't fully specify the developer, that will still work. Um, so here, um, software developer and senior software developer both will be matched by software dev. Um, what does not work here, however, if I search for senior developer or senior dev, because the match phrase prefix um, takes into account like the order of the tokens. You can still work around that. So if you want to search for that software developer um, or senior developer, um, you can search for on a bool prefix and on all the three fields that we have created here um, with the two shingles and three shingles and the original one. And we combine them so it must contain senior and whatever starts with dev. And then it will actually find my senior software developer. Um, so this one here then does not take into account the order of those tokens. If you would widen that and instead of and say or, so senior needs to be there or dev or anything um, following after dev like developer. Um, if I run this one here then, um, then you find all of your um, tokens um, or all of the documents again, because all of them contain developer. Um, so that works um, easily. Um, what happens if you search for the emoji? Will that find anything? Um, well, it does. Even the emoji is being found. So um, here, the developer advocate, um, even if you just search for the avocado, that one will be found. Um, one thing that is sometimes slightly confusing for people, that's why I try to mention it here, is that we have also a completion suggester, um, which can do suggestions. Um, you might have run into this. This one is, by the way, a more in-memory data structure. So this will create a structure in memory. So it will take more memory, but is very fast at those completions. But while it has some additional features like waiting terms, um, what it cannot do is it is not as flexible with finding something in the middle um, of the token. So I take the same documents that I had before, my software developer, senior software developer, um, and then I search for software dev, um, just scrolling up and up enough that you see the previous documents. If I search for software dev, um, what we will find here is we will only find the actual software developer and not the senior software developer, but it, because it really does not have that um, infix search, but only the prefix at the very first um, or the very start of the document. Only from there you can search. Um, and if you search for senior dev, you will not find anything at all because there is nothing. Um, it doesn't just search for the two tokens and it doesn't start there. So it will not find anything. So the completion suggester is very fast, but it is not as flexible, I would say, as um, the search as you type feed. Um, that's pretty much all for this one. Till then, have a good one. Bye.